Good day everyone. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use N2M Plus to convert an Excel data file into an M Plus compatible data file and it will also create its associated syntax for us automatically. Now before I begin I want to point out that I've created a data folder here on my desktop which I'll be using as a storage location for all of the files that are involved in today's demonstration. N2M Plus does not have any specific requirements about where your files are located, so feel free to store them in any particular location that you like. So, before we can take a look at N2M Plus, I first want to familiarize you with the data set with which we'll be working today. As you can see, this is a standard Excel workbook. I'll go ahead and open this data set so we can take a look at it. As the workbook opens, you'll note that our data set contains six variables and that I've created two separate worksheets within this single Excel file. Now, the only difference between these two worksheets is that on my data raw worksheet, I have missing values as simply as empty cells on my data missing coded worksheet all those missing cells have been replaced with minus 99 so we'll be using minus 99 to indicate to N2M Plus that those particular cells represent missing values so I'll go ahead and close this down now and we can begin let's launch N2M Plus when the program loads, we, be pre we will be presented with the main user interface window. Now, creating using N2M Plus to create an M Plus compatible data set and its associated syntax is a simple three-step process. In the first step, we'll select our data source file. In the second step, we will select the variables that we want to use. And in the third step, we'll identify any missing values in the data set. Let's get started. So I'll click on the Browse button, and we will be selecting our source data file. In this particular example, our source data file is located in the data folder, but your source data file could be located just about anywhere. Now, I will click on the ICT data file, which is our Excel data file, and I'll click on the Open button to go ahead and open that file. And you'll see that into M Plus has detected that there are multiple worksheets contained within the single Excel workbook. So we need to tell the program which of these worksheets we want to use. In our case, we want to use the data missing coded worksheet, which has already conveniently been selected for us. Now, here we'll see a checkbox that indicates whether or not we want to read variable names from the first row of data. If you recall, when we looked at our data set, we saw that the first row of data contained variable names. We had a country variable, a year variable, uh, an ICT variable, etc. So we want N2M Plus to read those variable names from the first row of data. So I'll click on OK. Our data file has been read in, and that completes step one. The next step is to specify which variables we'd like to use. Now, I don't want to use all of the variables here because my country variable is a text variable and M plus does not allow us to use text variables in our analyses so I have to make sure that the country variable is not included in my M plus compatible data set so I've selected the use selected variables option and I'll go ahead and select all the variables that I want to use in my analysis also note that N2M Plus automatically trims long variable names. This is because M Plus does not allow us to use variable names that are longer than eight characters in our analyses. So N2M Plus will automatically trim long variable names to eight characters for us. And that's all we need to do for step two. The final step in the process is to identify missing values. Because we know that our data set contains missing values, I'm going to select this checkbox. 
and the next thing we need to do is simply specify how our missing values are coded. In our particular example, our missing values in the data set are coded using minus 99. Now, this is the default setting, but if I had used any other code to indicate missing values, I could enter that, that code here. And that's all there is to it. I'll click on the Go button, and into M plus will do its magic. Now, the first thing we notice when the output window appears is that it tells us that our input data file was processed successfully, so that's good news, and that our M plus compatible data file has been created the following location. You'll note that this location is identical to the location from which we read our source data file. So if I were to open this data folder over here, we would see that my new M plus compatible data file has been created in the same location as my source data file. Also note that N to M plus has created our M plus syntax for us. And we will be able to use this syntax directly in our M plus syntax file. Now, if I want to take a look at my new M plus compatible data file, I can simply click on this button here. And as we can see, N to M plus has quickly and easily created a lovely 100% M plus compatible data file for us. So this takes virtually all of the work out of creating an M plus compatible data file. This is very handy. The final step is simply to copy the syntax to the clipboard. So I copy it to the clipboard, and then I can go ahead and close into M plus. Now, I've gone ahead and opened M plus and the first thing that I want to do is paste my new syntax into this input file. So here's my new syntax, and the only addition that I'm going to make to this syntax is I'm going to add an analysis statement, and we're going to just tell it to do a simple basic analysis, the purpose of which will be to determine whether or not our data file has been read in correctly and our missing values have been handled correctly. So I'll go ahead and save my M plus file, my input file, and I'll go ahead and save it in the same folder, but of course you could save yours wherever you like. And then I will go ahead and run M plus. Now M plus has created an output file for us and we see that all of our input data were read correctly. We have 250 observations in our data set. Five variables have been read in. Here we see the missingness patterns, so we can note that M plus has correctly processed all of our missing data, which is good news. And down here we have our sample statistics, so these are some simple statistics that describe our data set, and we can use these to verify that the data set was indeed read in correctly. And in this case, it was. So that's all there is to it. I hope that you can see just how easy it is to use into M plus to create M plus compatible syntax and data files. And I hope that you find N2M Plus to be a valuable and time-saving research tool. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.